Marie, how will you describe yourself? I usually say I am a sculptor. Actually, it depends, it depends who's asking. If it's more about, I don't know, my work, I'll say I'm, I'm Mary Sibande, I'm a visual artist. But if it's just about just being social, I'll just say I am Mary. Well, lately I say I'm a mother, because that's <laughs> important for me. Has that changed how you approach your work? It did, it did actually. So um, in my art practice, uh, my work is divided into colors. And, um, and the reason why color is color is important in South Africa and of course when I speak of color I'm talking about race uh, and my work is looking at my personal history and of course looking at my personal history it's inspired by a broader history of South Africa and um, of course I'm sure you guys are aware of apartheid. So the purple body of work I was looking at myself as a black uh, South African woman and what it means and what, what does it mean to actually bring life in, in South Africa. If I'm bringing a child into this world, and I have to fix it and I have nine months to do this. <laughs> I have to fix it. So these dogs, the purple figure is sending them away. It's like, and the title of the work is Right Now. Uh, so she's saying, right now, go fix the world before my child comes. <laughs> so that's the, it, that was the, actually the, the foundation of the work, yeah. Was there a moment when you can recall that you defined yourself as an artist? Now, maybe 2009 when I had my first solo show. Mm. How the work was received and people reacted to it like, oh my God, this is amazing. I was like, it is. Mm. Okay, it is. I can, I can do this. This is. This can actually be my career. And then I remember the first time I showed, because my grandmother couldn't come to my show, so I had photographs and I also had articles from newspapers and magazines. I was showing her and explaining what my work is about. And she said to me, wow, this is actually amazing. I didn't know that while we were living our lives, you were taking down notes. And I think I'll forever remember that. Yeah. So who is Sophie to you and what does she matter to you? Uh, Sophie is my alter ego. I wanted to investigate like, why these women in my family, why were they domestic workers? And I decided to actually be, take on these personas. So sometimes I am my grandmother, sometimes I am my mother, and I do these performances and I make the work. Usually people will ask me that, like, why the name Sophie? So in South Africa, it was compulsory for a black child to have a Christian name, or I would say Western name. Like me, I have an African name, because in Tumbigaise, and my, my Western name is Mary. I thought, of, well, for me, if, if, if I name her an African name, I'll, I'll sometimes forget why I'm making the kind of work that I make. So I decided to give her a Western name. So it's always a reminder that this is, what, this is why I'm making the work that I'm making. But like each series is such a big body of work. Like how did you decide like, which one you was going to show for this? So the, the bodies of work is always inspired by a piece of history. So in 1989, people were protesting um, against apartheid, but there were millions of protests in South Africa. So people were protesting on the street, demonstrating, yeah, and so on. And then the police um, laced their water cannon with purple dye. So in my understanding, the purple is actually a difficult color to get it off your skin. So it was the idea of marking, but marking has been a tool that has been used used um, by the apartheid government for, for years. So someone uh, wrote a, a graffiti on, a, on, on the city hall. The, the text was saying, um, the purple shall govern. I think, I think I would love to know, like, why did you guys agree to, to this talk? For me, um, it's because of the work that you've been doing. Your work explained so much more, it helped me understand my work. Yeah. I think as creative, it's always important to, you know, exchange, inspire each other. I've also, I have artists that I, that I looked at when I was a student and still to this day. And also I feel like um, Africa has this umbilical cord that just goes around, around the, the, the globe, you know, it's connected everywhere.
yeah there's always that connection that energy you know that yeah. life mm. that we have as african women i mean living here is i was born here yeah, born. but i'm very proud in my identity as a black woman you know i'm mixed race what is it that you're trying to communicate with your work i think for me it's just about ch exchanging stories and sharing histories just ab about understanding each other i guess i love creating i never I always, when I even when I'm not creating, I'm always creating in my head. I don't think I'll ever stop. <laughs>